Yeah. Looks like there's more news people here than protesters. Yeah. Pathetic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And they had to bust them in from Davis. <laughs> <laughs> two, two of them at least. <laughs> A it's dozen a, people? A city, a city of a million. And they have to get ten people and have to bust two from Davis? Yeah. Well, <laughs> that sums it up. Four news vans, nine news crew, five counter-protesters. And the number of demonstrators never rose above 12. Assuming the 3.5% of the population is some flavor of LGBT, there should have been a pool of about 50,000 to draw on in Sacramento County. 12 divided by 50,000 is pretty depressing. It's doubly depressing after the long lines at Chick-fil-A's Nationwide on Wednesday, 1 August. At issue was Chick-fil-A's donating over $5 million to anti-gay organizations from 2003 to 2010, according to the website Equality Matters. This chart shows the anti-gay organizations the Windshape Foundation, the charity controlled by the owners of Chick-fil-A, have donated to. Note that these organizations then subcontract support to these organizations. And this organization, according to Equality Matters, can be directed where the donors' donations will be spent. Some of the ultimate receivers of the Kathy family largesse advocate psychologically harmful reparative therapy in an attempt to pray away the gay or advocate criminal sanctions against homosexual behavior. So we should outlaw gay behavior. Uh, yes. Back to the Chick-fil-A in Sacramento. The four news outlets were setting up for a Live at Five report. There were also these guys. Three students from American River College, the only college in America, endorsing the California Proposition 8 initiative that enshrined marriage inequality in the California Constitution after marriage equality had been put into practice. The guy in the Dice and Dollars sign shirt who says he had nothing to do with the ARC students, and this guy in a green shirt. He must have been the color commentator. Watch and listen carefully to what happens next. This is how bullies operate. Mr. Dice shirt started by harassing a married same-sex couple, claiming that... Well, you have the freedom to marry. Really? Yeah, yeah, everywhere. This country, anyone can get married. I can't marry her. Yes, you can. Where? Where? Tell you can find a church that will marry you. It won't be legal. I won't get the 1,100. No, I'm assuming you're a heterosexual, is that correct? I am, yeah. Uh, you get 1,132 rights the minute you sign a marriage license. I don't get zero. I get yes, zero. Yes, no, I do not. I get oh, zero. Obviously. Zero. Zero of those rights. Zero. Well, no, you get you, federal hey, rights. Hang, hang I don't on, get on, any on, of on, the on, federal hang on, rights. Hang on, you get. hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, sorry. I'll give you one second. Second up. Let's have an intelligent conversation. If you can. If you can. If you tell me, if you tell me, I get 1,100 rights that you get. Well, what's he mean by that? Even though you've decided to marry a man or a woman, as a citizen of this country, I don't have to recognize that. Marriage is between a man, woman, man, man, whoever, between two people, recognized by themselves, their family, and a church. Oh. Okay. The state doesn't. The state's not involved with that. Then the guys in the ARC T-shirts showed up bearing food. Hey guys, on behalf of uh, American River College students, we wanted to offer you some food from Chick-fil-A. Oh yeah, I got in and out waiting for me over there. Let's count the number of times they used the word love. College's uh, stance on all of this. Oh, okay. And we appreciate you moving away, please. Free food for you guys. No, thank you. Free food. No. We wanted to show you. We guys know what you're love. doing. We know what you're doing. <laughs> I appreciate you. Uh, we just you. wanted to show you guys some love on behalf of American River College and buy you some food, if uh, you like any. If if you bought food for them, that means that you support... We totally support them, yes. Okay, and you support the anti-gay groups them. that we they... we love them. Excuse me, you support the gay, the anti-organizations that they give money to? We love Chick-fil-A, we don't hit you hate support, Chick-fil-A, and we want to get you some food. You support reparative therapy, you support that? We're just here to show some love yes for Chick-fil-A. No. We're here to show some love. If you give one penny to them, <laughs> you're giving one. You're giving <laughs> some money to those organizations. Yeah. So did you want some free, no. some free food? No. no, no. We appreciate it. Goodbye. Thank you. Sure you want it? Free food for anybody. If they want from Chick-fil-A, it's free food. American River College Students Council went on record as to voting against Prop 8. 
Yes, yeah, it's, that's it's very true. It's, it's very true. Very true. So we just wanted to show you guys some love if you want some no, free food. No, it's a ploy to say, some free see, food. We, they do eat chicken filet. It's a ploy. See, we, we, Everybody we, loves Chick-fil-A. Very good. Everybody you guys, thank you. Yeah, we just respond to you guys. Like with we we, uh, we, uh, we, we appreciate it. <laughs> Where's the love from you guys? Come on, love, yeah, love no. on Chick-fil-A. We have love no, we right here. We respect, you, we respect you doing this, but we're not going to fall for it. Goodbye. When they couldn't get anywhere here, they beelined the camera that was live. We love to give you guys Chick fil A. After the reporter finished, they tried one more time. We love Chick fil A. Yeah, okay, you keep boy, eating guys. it. And then I'll say bye bye in a couple of years. But we love to bless you guys. Thank you. We just respond to you guys with love, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> you know, giving giving money to Uganda that want to kill the gays, I don't call that love. Well, we love to I don't call that love, and you can't call that love in any language. <laughs> We already know where you're coming from. We yeah. already know your ploy. And we'd like to tell here. you where to go. Yeah, you can move on now. <laughs> go to Chick-fil-A? All right. We'll, we'll yeah, go, right go ahead. Right. Go you know, I hope you eat there every day. Yeah, we hope so too. Lord willing. <laughs> Let's see. That's 18 disingenuous loves. They kept using that word. Were they from the Ministry of Love? Don't relax just yet. They came back to harass some more. I love being gay. Thank you. You've been with a man before. What? You've been with a man before. I love being gay. You love being with a man too. Oh, no, 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 yeah, no. Not at all. Yes, you did. Not at all. Yes, you did. So getting back you're to just the... here to get attention. I'm no, here you're, to no, you're protest here to get attention. I came and here to get attention. Who has the right to ask that question of anyone? You know, there seem to be a lot of guys that like girl-on-girl -girl porn and dream that they're so studly they can turn a lesbian straight. But wait, there's more. In the United States Army, I fight for your freedom. I could have died for your freedom. Well, I could I'm have glad died. you didn't. Now, I'm retired military and a combat veteran. This guy is bullshit. This verbal sparring and the rudeness is how bullies begin searching for their next victims. The counter-protesters finally left, and the remaining demonstrators provided a live shot opportunity at 6 p.m. Yeah. The demonstrators felt that overall, the event had been worth it. Paul, a gay man in a stable relationship of 12 years, wanted to provide a positive example. You know, imagine being a child who was questioning and their parents are eating at Chick-fil-A. And they're seeing their uncles and their aunts all coming out to support this hate against gays. It's against them. And imagine them just crying themselves to sleep at night. That is not okay. That's where I'm coming from. His friend Jen is in a relationship with a transgender man. That Chick-fil-A has given millions of dollars to hate groups, different hate groups, and that's not what Wednesday was about. It was, you know, it's good if, if it was a money ploy and the CEO wants to line their pockets with their money and they can be their cash cows, that's cool, but, um, but I'm not okay with it. Mm -hmm. Ellen says she was the lone protester at this Chick-fil-A on Wednesday's Appreciation Day event. It was, it was what I expected. I mean, you know, there are people who, they, they had been fed the line that it was a, a question of freedom of speech, which of course it's not. And so because of that, they came out, and I can understand that. And they, you know, obviously didn't look any further to, on what they've been told. Ellen's wife, Shelley, added, I, I think they have a right to buy the sandwiches, but they should know where the money is going. And I don't believe that the thousands of people that were standing out here on Wednesday, uh, all of them, 100% uh, of them know that they are contributing to organizations that are big bigots and discriminate against the people and in some cases wish that all gay people would die. Angel was unfazed by the low LGBT turnout. I thought there was going to be more people but you know what? Two is a crowd. You don't need all thousands of people to make a statement. With two is enough. Two people is a group. 
You know, even if you're standing alone, you're making a difference. In Sacramento, I'm Karen Savage.